My name is Cristina Sal Blázquez and this is the presentation of synergies between geomatics and biological sciences for the creation of new virtual materials for teaching taphonomy. This presentation includes the introductions, the methodology, the results of the activity and some discussions and the final conclusion. Let's start by the introduction section. Archaeology addresses the investigation of different human paths from material and bone remains, and in the last years, this discipline has incorporated different professionals to archaeological projects. In this sense, geomatics, that also includes its photogrammetry, provides archaeologists with geometric reproductions and virtual reconstructions without damaging the original specimen. Photogrammetry has experienced a huge development due to the integration of different computer version techniques. In the last few years, the application of photogrammetric techniques combined with statistical analysis has been successfully applied in the field of taphonomy. Taphonomy studies the anthropogenic alteration based on different cut marks and percussion marks, but also biological alteration processes performed by carnivores. All these techniques using taphonomy research range from the most simple handling sciences to binocular or 3D microscopes, but also digital imaging techniques that are not commonly available to archaeology students. Therefore, the training in a manageable and low-cost methodology can be particularly relevant. The unification of effort between different branches of knowledge will help the effective use of information and communication technology in the teaching learning approach of archaeology students. For all the above, the specific objectives of this paper are to value the applicability of geomatics in other fields, to promote the use of information and communication techniques, and to obtain the necessary skills related to spatial vision, to promote asynchronous learning, and to collect useful virtual resources. These virtual materials will be used in the paleontology and taphonomy module of the archaeology degree of the University Computers of Madrid that um, tries to uh, acquire the following competencies in students to interpret the archaeological data, to understand different complexity of past and present society, and to use a specific technical vocabulary or knowledge in solving different problems. In section two, methodology, we have divided this section in three main blocks. Block one, in the use of new technologies for the study of bone surface modification through a traditional model, but also the reverse methodology that improves or contributes to students to develop the, or their own work through different scientific journals, internet, etc. Block two, based on photogrammetry as a tool for obtaining impressive geometrics of an object of different details, with three main phases, the data acquisition, the image processing to obtain 3D models, and the exploration of the, these models. As can be seen, this block two used a specific protocol for image capture of bone surface modifications, but also the modeling used a specific software. And finally, block three, the geometric morphometrics as a tool for bone surface analysis, in which students will have to test the utility of geometric morphometric tools and to analyze the generated 3D models. You can see here in this, three, this block three, the visual description of the 2D and 3D landmarks configuration, in which a student will also be able to perform different measurements. The results of the activity can be summarized as uh, the application of techniques and tools using geomatics that means an essential contribution to archaeology students. And the methodology introduces a novel way of visualizing and visualizing bone surface modification through the use of 3D models. That the learning teaching process is explained here has been successfully undertaken in a small group, but also during the last academic year with undergraduate student that's a pilot basis and finally as conclusion of this work we can say that the implementation of this methodology 
has achieved to improve the academic performance of students, to increase the student participation and motivation, and to favor the learning development of students. In summary, we can say that the work aims to hybridize knowledge from different fields so that archaeology students can improve their training and professional future. And finally, that future validation of the methodology will be aimed to at getting the perception of students and professors through specific indicators.